It's week six of the 2023 Laundry Basket Quilts Mystery Quilt, and today we are going to be putting everything all together, all of our little blocks and all of our background pieces. Um, I went ahead and cut off screen because it was a lot. It was a lot. And um, I almost didn't have enough fabric, so I had to make a cutting diagram. Um, there's a couple pieces missing from this because I had to cut them out of scraps, but I was very, very close to not having enough fabric. So I made this diagram and then when I was cutting, I was triple and quadruple checking my measurements before I made any cuts because I could, I could not make a single mistake on my cutting. So I didn't film any of that, but that took quite a while. I also want to um, make sure and remind you to download these patterns while you still can. They are, it's a limited time free pattern on the site. So you're going to want to download the pattern and then also the um, layout grid for your applique. And that includes the applique shapes that we're going to use. There's also a printable on the different applique methods, but I didn't um, download that one. Since this last week of the quilt is very like extensive and detailed, I'm going to actually break it up into several different videos. I'm going to do piecing the quarters in this video, and then in the next video, I'm going to actually do a swatch of the different applique methods, and then I'm going to run that through the washer to see how each applique method wears, because I've seen some raw edge applique before, and it was like really raggedy, and they had like strings coming off, so I wanted to test that out. And then in the last video, I'll do a quick demonstration on how to sew partial seams. And I'll just, I'll finish piecing the quilt at that time and I'll do a quilt top reveal. So that's three videos. <laughs> um, I don't know how quickly I'll be able to get them out because applique for me is very slow. So be patient with me. And uh, let's go ahead and jump right into piecing these quarters. So I have my block completely laid out on my design wall along with a reference image right here to make sure I've got everything in the right place. Um, and I also want to note that I already sewed down all of my grandmother's flower gardens so I don't have to break my flow to stop and do that. Now if I were following the pattern um, completely, I would piece from these tulip blocks all the way over, so that would be one little area, and then I would piece from the posy to these nine patches, so I'd have two pieces there. Then I would piece these pieces as another strip and then I would add this, and then I would add this, and so on. But I'm going to make it a little bit easier on myself and just do the bottom half all the way across, excluding this strip, and the top half all the way across. And then I can do uh, piece those two together and finish off with this one. Just by looking at it, it looks like complete chaos at this point. There's no, like, super obvious place to start. So definitely follow along continue to check your pattern, and we're going to take this piece by piece. I'm just going to be working on one quarter at a time, but I highly recommend chain piecing. That's what I did for my other three quarters, and it came together really quickly that way. So first things first, I'm going to work from the left to the right, and I'm going to start here with my G block, or my G piece, and this nine patch. Then I'm going to work on the tulip blocks here with this the H's in the tulip blocks, and I'm just going to fold that down like that, and then the same thing for this one. I'm going to leave the I block here and piece the small leaf with the J. Over here, I'm going to piece the L to this nine patch and the K to this last tulip block. So I arranged this so that each of the sewing edges is aligned the same direction so I don't get confused and I can take this whole stack to my sewing machine all at once. I pressed my units and I put them back into place here and now I can move on to my next round of sewing. I'm going to piece together this unit with my B piece and I'm going to piece my last H to this tulip unit. Then I'm going to piece my small leaf unit to the eye and this nine patch unit to the large leaf. Okay, so now this unit is done 
but I still need to finish this one here. So I'm going to sew those together. I'm going to ignore this unit as well, and then I'm going to work on this unit. So I'm going to take it to the machine with these paired together, but I'm also going to take this piece over and sew that on after I've sewn that first seam. The rest of the bottom half of this quadrant is pretty simple because we have four columns that are all the same height. So I'm going to sew these first two together, the last two together, and then I'll sew that middle seam. And then the last piece of that bottom quadrant is this F strip here, this long one. So I'll just sew that one on at the end. And then finally, we have brought a little bit of structure to the chaos and the bottom half will be done. Before I move on to the top half up here, I just want to highly recommend keeping a reference photo nearby. Whether it's a page of the pattern or it's a photo you took of your pieces before you started sewing, it is so helpful because it would be really easy to twist these tulip blocks or maybe even completely flip that unit um, or misalign the leaves. So keep referring to your references as you put your pieces together because they are so helpful. The top half comes together a little more quickly because there aren't as many pieces. So, and there's this big piece right here. So I'm going to start by um, combining the E unit to the peony block. And then it's all about nine patches. I'm going to piece this nine patch to the M strip. And then these two nine patches are going to be paired with the D rectangles. This time around, I'm going to ignore this long unit and piece this nine patch uh, strip to the O. And then for my nine patches here, I'm going to piece these two together and then this on at the bottom. Okay, the top half is almost done, just two more seams. One right here to make a long pieced strip and then also that final seam right up here. Okay, so the bottom half is done. The top half is done. There's one more strip over here, a background strip. The in, I believe. Yes, in. So I'm going to sew together the top and the bottom, and then I'm going to finish off this last seam here. But believe it or not, there is one more step. Don't forget this last step. I'll show it to you in just a second after I finish sewing these pieces together. All the seams are finished, but there's one last thing. The very last grandmother's flower garden block. It's going to go right up here. The pattern has it oriented sort of like this, like the other blocks, but I am so tempted to just turn it so it's like this. Let me get a pin. I think I like it oriented that way better. If I zoom out so you can see the other ones, I don't think it looks weird being in a different orientation to these two. So I think I'm going to finish it in that position. So I haven't been hand sewing these down. I've actually been top stitching them with my sewing machine. It's just so much faster that way. Um, and I don't think it's that distracting. So I'm going to go ahead and top stitch this one too. And actually I forgot to add these to my other three finished quadrants. So I'm going to do that at the same time. Looking at this quadrant all put together at this stage without the applique, I'm just struck by um, how disappointed I am in my color choices. If I had seen the pattern beforehand, if it wasn't a mystery quilt, I would have chosen the placement of my colors so much differently. I'd use the same palette, but I would have been more intentional with my lights and my darks. So right now it just looks like pure chaos, and I'm hoping that the applique is going to work a miracle on these quadrants. These quarters desperately need applique. There's so much uh, negative space going on here that needs to, it needs those stems and leaves to finish it off. So next week, applique, and then the week after that, finished quilt, hopefully. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you again really soon.